Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to create web server with BanJS. If you are new to this channel, subscribe this channel to get more tutorials. Let's get started by creating a blank application. Open a new terminal and ensure that you already have installed BanJS on your system using this command and then type this command one c and then copy this command to create a blank application here enter the application name my server my case it may take a while okay now navigate to this applications root directory by cd and then open this application with any text editor my case visual studio code is preferred okay Bun's HTTP server is built on web standards like request and response. So, I am going to create one server by following its official documentation. We can create one server in two ways using export default that is an object with a fetch function so copy this and expand source folder and then open index.js and paste here the code okay now i am going to change the extension of index file to type script okay one server run with a default port 3000 we can define a different port okay now i am going to start this server using this command one run dot slash source index dot tsx hit enter now access this server using this url localhost clone 3001 that's it here fetch receives a request object and must return either a response or a promise response now i am going to create one server using another way now restart the server here change the port number use default port that's it we can define our own port number here restart the server access by this port number okay one server supports error handling for error handling you get an error function if development true and error is not defined or doesn't return a response you will get an exception page with a stack trace it will hopefully make it easier to debug issues with one until one gets debugger supports this error page is based on what one dev does 
if the error function returns a response it will be served instead i am going to handling an error on bun server now restart the server and reload with port number default port number and you will see an error on this page okay now i am going to rearrange this code i want to access the backend data from one server so we need to define an url let url now i am going to set a condition if url value is not true it will throw an error whether it will return a response the server will respond with a message my first one web server okay now restart the server and reload it is not working because here has no url now i'm going to assign url here okay now restart the server and reload that's it if the error function itself throws and development is false a generic 500 page will be shown to stop the server call server dot stop okay now i'm going to rearrange this code define a new variable server this is the reference variable of one server okay now i'm going to display the value of development server dot development okay now restart the server and you will see true value okay now i'm going to use this server dot development with a condition if server dot development then i will call server dot stop to stop the web server okay now restart and reload okay you will see this because the server has stopped it if i set the reverse condition then restart the server and you will see server is running that's it now i am going to fetch the backend data so return fetch function here enter the url as a parameter inside fetch function and then call then method response dot json okay now call then method again okay now return response object with the fetch api data we need to stringify the json data 
using json stringify method okay now save this file and also we need complete url i am accessing the api data from this backend url so we need the complete url okay now restart the development server and reload if you like this video like comment and share thank you so much for watching this video